All right, let's dig into the story of another awesome family that's made a big impact on our city of Oviedo. They're all about hard work, caring for their community, and being crazy about plants. Yep, you guessed it. It's the Lucas family, as in the Lucas Nursery on Slavia Road. They're the ultimate America dream, just living their lives and making a real difference here in the city of Oviedo. I'm Top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, Orlando's number one real estate company. I've lived here in East Orlando since I've been a boy. I went to Winter Park High School and then right down the road, graduated from University of Central Florida. And I've been selling real estate here in the area full time every day for 35 years. Let's talk about the Lucas family. So back in 1912, the Lucas crew showed up in Oviedo, Florida, kickstarting what we now know as Lucas Nursery. Paul and Mary Lucas, who came all the way from Czechoslovakia, tied the knot in 1908, and were all about farming, like many people were back then. They, along with six other families, decided to settle near Oviedo in 1911, calling the place Slavia to give a nod to their roots. They even set up St. Luke's Lutheran Church, showing their strong faith. And guess what? That church, it's still standing tall today. Paul and Mary Lucas had six children, Paul Martin, Milton, Daniel, Dusan, Mary, and Mildred. And despite the challenges, they persevered farming and selling produce in Winter Park. Paul also used his cobbling skills from Czechoslovakia to repair shoes when needed, which was probably needed a lot with all those kids. So as time went on, the Lucas family grew their land and kicked their crop production into high gear. The whole gang, the parents and the kids, worked their tails off to improve their situation. When Paul passed away in 1939 at the eve of World War II, his son Paul Martin took over the truck farming gig while looking after his younger siblings. Now in 1946, after World War II, Paul Martin married Gertrude Cecilia Greenleaf, and they had four sons, Paul Martin Jr., Jonathan, Philip, and Stanley. Stanley, Paul Martin Sr. passed away in 1970. Seeing that small scale truck farming wasn't going so well, their oldest son, Paul Martin Jr., wanted to find a new way to make money from farming. So Paul came up with the idea of Lucas Nursery. They started it in February 1973 with just 50 big cans of plants and a spot to sell them under an old chicken house. Gertrude, Paul Jr.'s mom, joined him in the business Paul Jr. joked, it's a perfect for a green leaf to keep leaves green. In just three years, Lucas Nursery grew a lot, covering two and a half acres. They focused on plants and containers and even had their own place to grow more plants. By 1976, Paul Jr. started a foliage nursery on Plymouth Sorrento Road in Apopka, Florida. He passed on the Slavia operation to his brother Stanley and his mom, Gertrude. The nursery grew from 2.5 acres to 24 acres of both container and field grown plants. They also added new propagation houses, a potting machine, a potting shed, and put up their first official sign, Lucas Nursery. In December 1976, Lucas Nursery officially became a corporation. The officers were Paul M. Lucas Jr. as president, Stanley T. Lucas as vice president, and Gertrude. G. Lucas as secretary and treasurer, and Jonathan Lucas as director. Philip Lucas joined in 1977 as a vice president and general manager. With his expertise, Lucas Nursery became one of the top 100 independent garden centers in the United States. Lucas Nursery and Garden Shop has gone through quite a few upgrades over time. They built a new sales shop back in 1980, which is now the Pottery Barn. Then in 2000, they expanded even more with a bigger sales building and a brand new barn. And the fun didn't stop there. They added the butterfly encounter in 2004 and set up a fancy new corporate office in 2012, topping it off with a state-of-the-art greenhouse in 2014. Talk about just sprucing things up from a couple of pots. After Stanley Sr.'s unexpected passing in 2001, the fourth generation of the Lucas family, members including Stanley II, Caleb, and Cecilia, stepped in to take on a more significant role. They ensured that Lucas Nursery and Butterfly Encounter continue to flourish as a vital 21st century business, serving both customers and the community. From 2007 to 2016, Lee, who was Philip's son, ran Lucas Sod Delivery, providing services to Lucas Nursery customers. Well, the Lucas family has made significant contributions to Oviedo, Florida, particularly in the business sector. It's inaccurate to say they built the city. Oviedo boasts a rich history dating back to the 1870s, long before the Lucas family's arrival. 
but it's undoubtable that the Lucas family has left a huge mark on a veto scene, for sure. They've been part of the action for a whopping 70 years. It kicked off in 1949 when Stanley Lucas Jr. opened a Lucas Nursery. Since then, they've been making waves in town, not just with their businesses like the Lucas Nursery, the Butterfly Encounter, Lucas Saw Delivery, but also by backing up local businesses big time. Plus, they're right in the mix when it comes to community stuff, always pitching in to make life sweeter for everyone in Oviedo. Lucas Nursery is like a hot spot for eco-friendly know-how with all those local plants, green supplies, and cool educational programs. And their businesses, they're like the Pulse of Avito, adding to its awesome vibe. With Stanley II, Caleb, and Cecilia at the helm now, you can bet Lucas's legacy will keep Oviedo's future shining bright and green. The Lucas family didn't exactly build Oviedo from scratch, but they've definitely left their mark on how the city has shaped up. They've been a big boost to the economy, getting involved in community projects, and looking after the environment. But it's not just about business for them. They've also added a lot to Oviedo's cultural vibe and set the stage for what was to come. So let's not forget about Lucas Nursery making it into the top 100 independent garden centers in the whole country in 2012. That's a pretty big deal for everyone in Oviedo to brag about. If you want to move to East Orlando, why not call Realtors Scott Gerson and Diana Sacotto, the experienced Realtors you already know. Obviously, we are committed to and know the area with over 35 years of experience selling properties right here. We might be the obvious choice. Stay tuned to find out more about East Orlando current events and past history right here. Meanwhile, I have to visit a popular addition to the Lucas Nursery, the Lucas Butterfly Encounter, which we will feature on our next episode. Bye for now.